Hello friends, today I'm going to solve with problem number 93, restore IP addresses. So in this problem, we need to construct a valid IP address from a given string S. So what's a uh, valid IP address? Uh, it consists of four integers which are separated by single dots and each integer can be between 0 to 255 inclusive and cannot have any leading zeros. For example, this is a valid IP address because um, none of them have any leading zero however this has a leading zero so it's not a valid ip address this is also a valid ip address however this is not a valid ip address because it has value greater than 255 and in this case it has an um a symbol which is other than an integer and a dot value so it can only have a dot value which separates integers which are uh, between 0 and 255 and each integer there are four integers in total so now given the string s we need to construct a valid ip address and um, we are going to construct uh, like return as many valid ip addresses that are possible to be constructed from the given string so we are given this example let's see how we could solve this problem so from this example let's see what are the valid ip addresses that we could uh, get from this example so first of all uh, let's check the length of the ip at uh, of this string s so for an ip address what do we need is four integers separated by dot right four integers and dot so what would the minimum length of an ip address be the minimum length would be if each ip address has integer of only length one and each are separated by a dot so this is of length one of length one length one and separated by dot so if we are constructing this ip address from a string then what is the length of the string a string only has integer values uh, and we are actually inserting dots in it so basically length would be one two three and four so the minimum length of the string should be four what about the maximum length so each ip address can have values from zero to 255 right and 255 means if each integer is of length 255 then it's of length three and since we have four such integers so the maximum length is three times four which is equals to 12 so the length of the string should be between 4 and 12 so this will be our base condition if the length is less than 4 or greater than 12 then we cannot construct a valid ip address from our string so this is one base condition that we found now let's see how we are going to solve the problem so let's look at the length is it valid so we have 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 plus 2 which is equals to 11 so since the length is equals to 11 so it falls up in within the range right and then so we move on to the next step that is to construct an um to construct a valid ip address so how could we construct a valid ip address um well one way is to start uh, as a um start from the first uh, digit so what are we going to do is we look at the very first digit here so the first digit is two and we try to add a dot after that uh, just that the first integer is a single uh, digit the next integer is five uh, and then we put a dot again the next integer is five we add five and we put a dot again and the remaining integer since there will there must only be four integers so this the remaining uh, value should be the fourth integer right but is the length between the range the given range the valid range well it is not it's greater than that right so we cannot form our ip address uh, uh with this uh in this way like by only taking one integers at a time so what we do is now we actually back track so we backtrack from this section from here and what where we reach is two five dot so now 
we were here and then we backtrack from here so now we have raised the step and what we do is now we check uh, if we can take these two integers together as our third integer so we take these two and then we add a dot and then we look at the remaining integer and it's still greater so we again backtrack and then we take these three as our third integer and now if we take this three the value is greater than our given range so again we backtrack now we are backtracking since the length is greater than three so we are backtracking from where we are backtracking from this position to this position now here so since we backtrack we have we reach where the value only with only first uh, integer and then now we take two integers 55 and then we take the second integer uh, and then the remaining is again greater so we keep on doing unless and until we uh, take like 25 and then 52 and then 5 55 and then again this whole big integer so we again backtrack and then our 25 and then we take 52 and 551 it's again greater than that so we backtrack we take this three it's greater than 255 so we will can backtrack and we take these three integers and then what we do is we look we uh, again keep on uh, like taking only individual integers unless we get this whole big in number we backtrack from there we take these two values and then again these values still greater so we backtrack now we take these three values but now these three values greater than so we take we backtrack to this point and then we take these two values and then we again take a single value and we still have this whole big number so we backtrack and we take two values and this is still greater so we backtrack and we take three values two digits and now uh, when we take three digits it's greater than 255 right so we again backtrack from there and we take these three values and then uh, in that way we end up with our valid integers that would be uh, one would be this value and this value the other would be these three digits and the last two digits so now that we understand how we could solve this problem let's uh, start coding so what we need is um let and goes to the length of the string all right and then we need our result array to store our result and we are going to create our dfs function since okay let me not let me define is a backtracking backtracking function which takes values so what are the values it would require well we basically need to keep track of where we are like um in the string so we need the index of the string index in the string and then we also need uh, to keep our IP address right keep track of the IP that we are forming and we also need to keep track if we are at, uh, we already have four uh, digits if we have like not four digits but four integers if we have already formed four integers or not so we'll keep track of the count of the integers and let me just create our calling function so we are going to pass zero and the ip address would be um, an empty string initially and the count would be equals to four because there should be four integers and we are going to return our result now here um, in the backtracking function we check the base case so, okay we actually check the base case here so if the length n is less than four or n is greater than 12 which means that uh, the range it should be between 4 and 12 right if it is greater uh, it doesn't fall in that range then we are going to return an empty array because that that is the case where we cannot form a valid um, valid ip address all right now once we have 
rest our um, function so in the function what's the case when we are going to push uh, the IP address to our result well it's the it's when um, we have found all of our four integers and uh, this the length of the string is uh, equals to zero so is equals to zero because we will be slicing our um, string to form our IP address so see both of them should be equals to zero then uh, we are going to push to our result array push our IP address and if in case the length is not equals to zero which means that it would be the condition where we have two to five and then uh, which means we have two five five and the remaining integer values is this much and this integer value is uh, basically we can only take maximum of three right and the remaining would be this value and since the length is not equals to zero however we already found our four integers uh, that's not a valid case so in that case also if c is equals to zero we are going to return now what we'll do is we will loop over um, the value of our uh, loop over the string starting from its first uh, index and i should be less than the length of the string a plus plus so what are we doing here is we are actually doing um, the iteration so let's just see uh, so one of the strings that we formed was a valid ip was this one right the another valid ip we could form is these three values these three these three digits and these three and this the last two right so how are we going to form that well basically uh in the substring uh so this would be our substring so we choose this uh only length of one only first digit in the next case what are we going to do is we are going to choose these two slice the first two digits and then similarly slice the next uh slice one plus so so that we form our ip address so that is what uh, we'll be doing so we are going to create a sub ip equals to slice um, from index zero to the index i plus one and value of the sub ip the sub ip address should be in the range should be less uh, than uh, and it should not have any leading zeros so we are going to check if the sub ip the first value is equals to zero then we are going to return um, call our backtracking backtracking function with index i plus one and our sub um, ip address being uh, increased being appended by our sub ip uh, so we append our sub ip but we are going to append based on where we uh, find the sub ip if the sub ip is the very last integer then we do not need to add the value c so if the value of c is equals to zero then we are just going to append it um actually if it's the very first i very first uh integer in this uh, in our ip address so we are just going to append it without any leading dot else we are going to add a dot before the sub ip and then c minus one now um talking about the sub ip comparison with this value so since sub ip is a string we need to convert it into an integer so we are going to parse it to integer values and and this would not be an and operator this would be an or operation and we are going to also check if the sub ip length is greater than one so sub ip length is greater than one and the first 
uh, element first uh, digit in the integer is equals to zero that is when we return also we need to check if the length of i uh, i is greater than um, the length of the string if that is greater than length of the string then we need to return back because um, it could be the case that the length of string is only one and and the, yeah, basically it will only run over the value of four now let's try to run our code and let's see what the result is okay something went wrong all right so these are the final changes that i made to my code now let's try to submit this great